Hello everyone, welcome to a new training video. I'm Amir Hussain. In this video, we talk about runtime or execution time of the WorldCam model. So I'm in the test directory of the model. Let me open name list. And uh, I'm in the cam section of the name list. Actually, when you start running WorldCam, it can take several times longer than the ordinary WORF model without the chemical processing or with chem option equal to zero something that you can see here chem option is equal to zero so the chemical processing is actually disabled <clears throat> so it can take several times longer if you set chem option to a value let's say 301 or any other value and uh, for more clarification let me make a comparison between the run times of the WorfCam model with and without activating cam option so now it's disabled the chemical option is disabled i run it real after that wolf so i stop it and you can see um, the times that are elapsed at each step so I want to keep this information on this on the street and I go to another tab and I open name list and I modify cam option to a random value such as 301 and before running I need to set emissions data I just want to use um, industrial emissions so I uncomment auxiliary input data number 5 same for these variables so I uncommented three variables these three variables I save it and real and wharf <clears throat> okay now I'm going to stop it <laughs> if you compare two tabs two different tabs the left tab and the right tab the, the left tab is actually the normal uh, running of the wharf and the right tab is running wharf cam with a chemical option you can see um, for the normal run of the wharf model it takes around 0.7 around 0.7 and for the uh, wharf cam it takes around 33 or 31 33 and it's uh, it's about more than four times longer than the wharf model without any chemical processing so um, this is this was one comparison actually the running time of the wharf cam model is proportional to the complexity of simulation that has been set in your name list um, in other words it is related to the chem option value uh, to the chem option value as well as other parameters that are available in the chem section of your name list so I open name list again um, there is one other point the wharf chem simulation time can be at least four times longer than the simple wharf run but this ratio can be even larger for example it can be even uh, let's say 10 times or even longer uh, it can be 10 times longer than the time of running the normal wharf simulation so it depends on the chem option you choose uh, so in this video we just want to introduce you the fastest method of running the wharf chem model of course it's not the most complicated scheme or method you can set for running wharf chem but if you want to get some fast outputs for the for a limited number of gases pollutants 
or if it's not necessary for you to take a very complicated approach in running the WarfCam model, you can set WarfCam, uh, you can set cam option to number 13. And if you want to know more about number 13, you can uh, study uh, the user guide, the WarfCam user guide. This is number 13 and it can give you some outputs some limited number of outputs and gases components such as um, SO2, CO and so on. This actually is uh, information about number 13. So just let me run the model with this new option, real, and after that, worth. can see that um, in comparison to chem option equal to 301 it's much more faster and it's actually uh, we can say that it's only 20% or 30% longer than uh, or a slower than the WARF model, the ordinary WARF model without any chemical option. So this is an option that you can use for um, getting some simple gaseous components if you don't need any uh, complicated or, or you don't need any other, um, other gaseous compounds for your simulation.